dear students this is our fourth module on data abstraction and in this module we will learn about pointers a pointer is a storage area that contains encoded address of a memory cell so you know that all of the memory cell have certain addresses so for example this has address of 101 let's say this has 102 1003 1004 and so on so here there is an address for example 1110 and in this location we can store the address these addresses which we have mentioned over here so for example if we are saying that in this address we are storing 1002 and in 1002 the data is for example 12 so this mean that this location is storing the address of 12 and the address of 12 is 1002 so for example if we must repeatedly move an item of data from one location to another let's designate the fixed location to serve as pointer so each time item is moved the pointer is updated so for example first time this 12 was stored at 1002 and next time we want to store this 12 at 1004 so we will just update the address then we want to store it at 1001 we will write it here 12 and this 1001 will come over here so why we need pointers to store addresses we will learn with different examples so one of the example is you might know about the program counter which we learned in computer architecture the program counter is used to hold the address of the next in instruction so you know all of the instructions are available in the RAM and program counter holds the, in the address of the next instruction to be executed thus the program counters plays the role of a pointer because it is storing the address and in fact another name for a program counter is also instruction pointer because it is pointing to the instruction which is going to be executed in the next iteration then there is another application for example if we have uh, different novels written by author for example this is the author Ernest this is another novel this is another novel so one novel title is of farewell to arms for whom the bell tolls and the sun also rises so all of these have been written by the same author Ernest so what will happen if we want to store all of these novels in the RAM so these will be stored somewhere in the RAM but we would not have an access that if I want to query if I want to ask the computer that please tell me that what are all of the uh, novels written by this author so it would not be possible because all of the novels with titles have been stored in the RAM independently so now let's put a pointer within the each novel so we want to link all novels by one author let's add a pointer as additional memory cell and within that pointer let's store the address of the next memory so this pointer is storing the address of this one this pointer is storing the address of this one and this pointer is storing the address of this one so this means if you come across with this novel you can traverse using this pointer to this and using this pointer to this and again using this pointer to the same location so this means all of the novels written by the same authors have been linked together in the RAM so let's summarize today's module we have learned about pointers and we have seen that why we need pointers and we have also learned about instruction pointer and different applications of pointers and there are some other applications of pointers which you might be learning in the later courses.